So I realized after all these days of going back and forth within my own conscience to find my soul, I realized that the soul really isn't a thing that you can lose. It's just you give away a lot of your energy, time and space to like things that are irrelevant and you end up misusing your own potential like for real. It's like you can't have a class of top A students and have an, uh, uh, a backbencher join that group. Someone's going to change. Either all the top step class students are going to change into the backbencher or every, all, or the backbencher is just going to blend in with the crowd, right? So that being said, it's like the more you try to do something, the more you force something to happen, the less likely it might actually happen and the more you just let things be and just flow you realize that flow state is the only state that can cause a change in your reality and by flow i don't mean by like continuously seeking out an object or seeking out a pleasure all pleasures are just a, a construct like really the most the most real pleasure i've ever had is just by being alone in my own room, as lonerism as that sounds, alone with yourself constantly is the most free way. Like you have billionaires right now who are pointlessly committing suicide because they don't want to be themselves anymore because they realize that the meaning of life can never be really quantified. And there are also people who are unable to even sip water. So at least if you ha have... <clears throat> If you have compassion for yourself enough to live in the heart, choose to live in the heart and realize that the world is better than it was many, many, many years ago. But we're privileged. But that doesn't mean it, this is it, you know, like after a couple of trips, I realized that, um, yeah, nothing makes sense. And that is the way it's supposed to be. And if you're a know-it-all, technically, there are still things that you still have to explore and know. It's weird because you may never know as much as you know until you know that it can be taken away from you. That's strange because you might find yourself end up in, in a psychic warrant where they're like drilling you with needles and stuff just because they think that you're lost. But in reality, maybe you've understood something in a lifetime that would have taken someone a couple of lifetimes, right? So yeah, uh, um, this is the age of the awakening. So don't be like scared if you're like picking up on, on a lot of energies and etc. 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 Quick empath tip: learn to cut off energies. Learn to be in your own zone. Deify yourself. Be with yourself to the point where you don't really need nobody to give you a clap or a tap in the back or a, hey, you look good today. No, I am going to look good today, regardless of your compliments. It is stubborn. Sure, it is straightforward, but it is earthing, man. It is earthing to hear someone drop down, come down and keep their feet on the ground, even after they've gone through so much. Uh, like, I didn't expect myself to do so many drugs. I didn't expect myself to see the world the way I see it now. But I realized that I'm sober enough to give you a compliment about the fact that life goes on. Life literally goes on. There is a flow state that keeps going. And if you remain in that flow state, it's just a download, bro. It's just a download. You're just getting information, information, you're learning more you don't have to really quantify it. Sometimes words can't even make you understand it. Sometimes it's just like you've got so much energy that you have to like pinpoint it somewhere to make sense out of it. Other than that, life goes on.